folks, welcome back. Last time was something for new players, and this time we're jumping in for something for new DMs. And that is the introduction of magical items into a campaign. Now, I've known quite a few DMs who try and use it to offset supposed character weaknesses, or to escalate the power out of fear that those characters won't be able to compete. One thing that I've also seen is them introducing magic items a little bit early into a campaign where they want to make things special or make things seem epic. But right then, you are losing one of the most important things about beginning adventures in a campaign. Once magic is introduced, it's hard to go back from there. So if you are introducing it, keep it low. One rule I've always had is that magic items are not sold in shops. Hell, most of the time, if you come to someone with a magical item, unless that person has detect magic, they would not be able to know that it's a magical item. So, if you were to walk into a shop in your regular store, in your regular town, in a proper campaign setting, and you bring your uh, thundering greatsword, the person running the shop would just see this as a regular masterwork greatsword of some sort. Like, oh, it looks really nice. Here's five copper for it. But that's getting a little bit off topic. I'm starting to ramble there now. No. What I mean is that if there actually is magical items in a shop, and people know about it, and people are selling it, then every single person in that town would also be aware of it. Magic items do not exist in a vacuum in your world. If there's a potion that can do something, if there's a piece of armor that can do something, and this is something that is just sold, someone would have bought it before you guys got there. Another thing is that if you do start to hand out these powerful items too early into the campaign, then where are you going to go to next? If at level 1 or level 2 they already have a flying carpet, then where are you going to give them for level 3 and level 4? Things should be fun, but there needs to be a sense that the characters and that the players have earned things that there's some improvement that is happening. It's good and it's okay to start off with this weakness, to start off with, oh, I just have my good masterwork weapon, or I just have this one item that can do this one thing. Because once they get the next thing, then that's special. Then that's something where they will tell a story for years to come about how in this ancient crypt that hadn't been explored before, they find an item that they carry through the rest of their adventuring life. So for any new DMs attempting to place magic items into their setting, I will always pose this question to them. Well, multiple questions actually. And that would be one, how does this item affect the setting? Two, how readily available is it? And three, how would it affect other characters getting a hold of this? So, this one's just a quickie. Next one will be much longer. I just had to get things ready because I have to go to work soon. But for now, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.